Hi, Dave Jack here, Superintendent of Falkton County Public Schools with another edition of Three Great Things. Uh, this past week, we saw a number of really outstanding things um, occur within Falkton County Public Schools. I want to start with the spelling bee last Saturday. Uh, congratulations to Melody Harlan from Auburn Middle School, who for the third year in a row won the county spelling bee. Um, Melody is a, a truly an exceptional speller. And of course, this is coming from someone who's a challenged speller, never been a very good speller. Uh, Harley, Melody is uh, remarkable. And um, it's always a pressure packed event. It, I'm a judge every year, and it's, it's never, never an easy assignment, not nearly as difficult uh, as it is for the competitors, but judging is difficult because you just hate to see kids miss words, and they tend, they can be very, get very upset, and it's very, it can be a very emotional time, but it's, it's, it is a wonderful event, and so congratulations to Melody for um, the, uh, the success and winning for a third year in a row. Um, I also wanted to share some information that our CT director, Sarah Fry, shared with me. And this, this kind of comes under the category of something that came across my desk that I think is great and in an area that just does not get the recognition in Fauquier County Public Schools that it deserves. And that is a, that's our career and technical education programs. And uh, Ms. Fry, our, our career and tech ed director, sent me an email to, and she just wanted to highlight some things that have already happened as of January 14th in Fauquier County Public Schools. I just want to read them to you. Uh, she mentions that last week 16 Fauquier High School students, five Cattle Run students, and one Liberty High School student qualified for the state DECA competition, which is a marketing competition. Um, also, she pointed out that two people from the automotive technology team competed in the UTI Top Tech Challenge in Pennsylvania last weekend, and they placed second. Um, and each member of the team won a scholarship of forty thousand dollars. That's a seventy-five percent scholarship, um, I, and I believe that's to the Nashville Nashville uh, Automotive Center. I'm butchering the name, but it's something to that effect. So, congratulations to those two students. Two forty thousand dollars scholarships. Uh, that's pretty remarkable. So, congratulations. And then thirdly, something we're excited about, and honestly, I didn't realize we were even going to be starting this, this program this soon. Uh, two students from Southeastern and one Liberty High School student began an EMT course um, on Saturdays uh, through a partnership that we have with the County uh, Emergency Services uh, Department. And uh, that one really got my attention because, uh, again, as I mentioned, I, I didn't even realize that we were we were able to start so quickly. But I think it highlights the strong partnership we have with uh, the county in general, particularly uh, with county emergency services. And I just think that's pretty amazing. See, our CT programs uh, in Falker County are really excellent. And as I mentioned at the beginning of my comments, they, they don't typically get the attention that they deserve, the recognition that they deserve. but we, from heavy equipment operators to EMT training to nursing to uh, electrical to ag mechanics to automotive tech auto body we did we have some remarkable programs and some remarkable instructors so hats off to CTE teachers students and to to Miss Fry um, last but not least and, and probably the thing that was most exciting for me is we get every year every week we give a rising tide award we call it the rising tide award to a deserving staff member in the school community. Um, so we decided to give two out on Monday night at the school board meeting and um, two extremely well-deserving individuals. One is Bob Rankin. And Bob, if you don't know Bob, Bob is, if you're ever at a county meeting or a school board meeting, Bob is often the guy sitting in the back running the sound equipment and the, the video equipment and he making all that stuff work. Um, and he works not only for school board and school board office, county office, but he also works in individual schools, helping them with their audiovisual needs. And I'm just always impressed by Bob's selflessness and willingness to help, um, willingness to help schools, uh, school administrators, teachers, just a really selfless guy. 
and someone really willing to do anything to help out uh, Fauquier County Public Schools. And last but not least, we also married, uh, we also recognize, we didn't marry anyone, we also recognize Sharon Elgin. And Sharon Elgin, if you, if you remember this story, Sharon was the bus driver on the southern end of the county who was driving through a neighborhood in, in the morning and saw that there was a, a home on fire. And uh, she stopped, got out of her bus, ran to the door, uh, banged on the door, and, and roused the, the folks who were in the family who was inside sleeping and um, uh, really saved, saved some lives. Um, and I mentioned at the meeting Monday that we've had other, we've, since I've been superintendent here, not that it had anything to do with me, but we've had a number of instances where a school nurse, a, a but now a bus driver, an athletic trainer, literally stepped in and saved someone's life, either someone that was experiencing a heart attack, someone who was choking, or in this instance, uh, people who were sleeping in a house that was engulfed in flames. So I, I just, it was a, it was a really moving uh, experience Monday, uh, recognizing these two individuals and particularly Sharon and her unselfishness and her unselfish deed, deed there and, and helping this family. So really special week here and uh, some really neat stuff happening. And uh, always, always proud to be, um, having the privilege and the honor of serving as superintendent of Fauquier County Public Schools. So hope everyone has a great week.